Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? And that was Skylar Cole singing the National Anthem, a fantastic rendition. Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's Noche Enabia, a celebration of the amazing Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analyst Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Thanks very much. Now, improving NBA officiating has gone high-tech. Today, the NBA uses the proprietary game review system, which is broken down from double-digit camera angles. Analysts spend a day or two dissecting each game. And Kevin, that data is used for evaluating, training, and communication with the teams. Isn't that something? I mean, every day there's something new. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, DA. Thank you. Look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede are manning the post position. Maxi out there with Harden. And it's Thibel in at the small forward. And for Dallas, inside form, it'll be Finney Smith and McGee. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. And it's Green in at the three spot. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Now here's Hardaway. Here's Doncic. A second chance effort. McGee is screen on Maxi. Hardaway finds McGee. No good, not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Harden outside, pass to Harris. Get the teardrop, and it's Vinny Smith with the rebound. For Dallas, they've gone 0 3 from the field to start the game. The drive by Green, and he throws it down hard with one hand. Now, Dorian Vinny Smith has the ability athletically to finish near the cup, and he does so there. Embiid with a screen on Hardaway. Maxi kicks to Embiid. And it's off from three-point range. Doncic against Harden. And here is Doncic. A floater. What blows me away about Doncic, the consistency across the board. GA, for three straight years, he was selected to the first team All-NBA. And that's all before he turned 24 years of age. Do you have any idea how hard that is to do? What he has done is incredible. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Doncic. Boy, what a season 2022 was for the Dallas Mavericks, making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, the huge upset over the Suns turned that season into what was a dream run early in Luka Doncic's career. 
Free throws good from Doncic. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. McGee against Embiid. Baseline jumper. Another miss by Philadelphia. And with the man to trip Doris to the conference finals, puts them ahead of schedule, many people think. Yes, Kevin, but I don't think you can let that momentum you built last year fade in any way. You've got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. We know how fragile success in the NBA is. You've got a top five player on your roster. You have to make sure you're taking advantage of opportunities. And here's Harden after Tim Hardaway made that last three-pointer. Connects from three-point range. James Harden understands answering a three with your own three negates any momentum of your opponent. Donchich outside, jacks up a three. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Donchich has got five minutes. And guys, getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. MB wide open. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And it's Doncic missing. The 76ers trail by seven. Bible with the ball. Hardaway picks him up. Here's Harden on the way. Pass to Harris. And B the screen. Just five on the clock. Harris's shot is off. Dallas leading by seven. Hardaway up top, defended by Feibel. Hardaway, no good. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Passes to Embiid. 76ers moving the ball around. Green taking his time here. Doncic against Harden. To the middle. They kick it out to Green. McGee the pass to Hardaway. Doncic way outside. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. To the pass to Harden. Able with the ball. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over McGee. Misses off the right eye. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Pass to Finney Smith. Outside Hardaway. There's the triple. Craps in the tray. Hardaway has got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, great outside shooting. Really fueling this run. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here.
golf scores is anyone really playing at 100 percent and is anyone really healthy uh, Kevin, it's an interesting question because the 82-game season is a real grind. And inevitably, there's bumps and bruises, sometimes more serious injuries. The key is can teams find the appropriate balance between being rested and being ready? And some coaches will tell you they'd rather be rested than ready. And Zoe Harris will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a 10-point game. McGee with the block. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. This is it to Finney Smith. To the paint, and it's McGee with the jam. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And it's the 76ers with the ball. The Mavericks making the shot. Harden with a screen on Hardaway. Maxi with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Good work there as it goes. Well, it's Harden continuing to evolve as a playmaker. This guy, including his teammates, making them feel good. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. His team is down, but with the way he went at the rim, you know they'll keep fighting the entire game. Now here's Hardaway. He points his last outing. Picked his pocket. Up top, Maxi. Guarded by Doncic. That three off the mark. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Back to Hardaway. What's the screen? Inside, here's McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Now here is Harris. This game we saw him score 14. Here's Embiid. McGee with the block. Doncic feeling it out. Some nice passing here by Dallas. The shot's good from McGee. McGee's got six. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Maxi passes to Harden. A shot missing. Nice D from Doncic. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Wasted no time on that one. Nine points in the game so far. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. And the 76ers call time here. Checked in for JaVale McGee. Christian Wood comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Josh Green. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. 
and the 76ers will go for a different look here. Yaka Pirtles checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Matisse Theibel. And John Wall subbed in for James Harden. Here's Pirtle. Nine points last game. Now the pass to Wall. Pirtle sets the pick for Wall. Good on the triple. John Wall has balanced that great driving ability with this. The ability to complement that with a three-point shooting. And the Mavs fans are hoping this team, Doris, is poised to repeat the success of the early 2000s. Well, Kevin, I think you have to look at the deep run into the playoffs from last year where they finally figured out the pieces they need to have around their great star, Luka Doncic. Obviously, you need shooting across positions, but I think one thing you need to consider with the Dallas Mavericks, paint protection is critical. High-level defenders are critical. So do you need that presence in the paint and a vertical threat of the cup to enhance Luka's skills even more? That team, no good. Mavericks leading by 17. Locked up there for Powell. Well placed. Now you pass into the layup. Tell you, for his career, Powell hovering right around 50% from the field, which means he's taking high quality shots. Now, Milton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Fires from deep. And they recover it. Wall wide open. And he's good on the three ball. Wall's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Philadelphia. Anjic passes to Pop. Down low. And there's Wood. That's good on the assist by Powell. And the Mavericks lead by 18. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Here's Maxi. It doesn't go for him. Now Dallas takes it the other way. There's Dinwiddie. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. Andrew outside. It's a floater, and it's good on the way in. Doncic has got 10. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Milton with it. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Tucker a screen. Maxi Tucker. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Now make no mistake, guys. One of the more effective second round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Mavericks. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. First free throw is good. free throws good from Tucker and here are the Mavericks now it's an 18 point lead Doncic against Wall as to Wood that one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet Dinwiddie's got his third assist on the night for the 76ers the last game a win against the Heat in FTX Arena and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Luka Doncic. Yeah, sometimes that's the best you can hope for with Wall inside. Send him to the charity strike. This is his first chance at the line tonight. 76% on the season from the foul line. First one falls for him. When John Wall has been healthy, this guy has been a consistently solid force with his speed and ability to get downhill. Really incredible awareness.
and he can't hit the second. And Doris, what you like about Dwight Powell is that he doesn't force anything on offense. Just takes what he has available to him. He is the perfect role player playing alongside his teammate Luka Doncic for this reason. Excellent screen setter, a real threat vertically at the cup. What a target for Luka. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Tucker a screen. Wall finds Tucker. And the three ball is good. Tucker's got five. We're talking about a dynamic playmaker with exceptional vision. Go ahead, John Wall. On your job side. Powell with the screen. Here's Dinwiddie. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Jakob Berkowitz. i tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And Spencer Dinwiddie has always been a great scorer, being used off the bench more and more. He has a great game to be a sixth man. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first free throw is good. Both free throws, good for Dinwiddie. The 76ers trail by 20. All taking his time here. Up top, Maxi. Dinwiddie cover. Philadelphia shoot their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And team free throw numbers is really about as good as you could ask for, around 80% on the season. The first one falls. hits them both and so it's Dallas with it. it's an 18 point game loads it up for Wood out of bounds it'll be 76ers ball and, and that's just carelessness there I mean you have got to have your head in the game 76ers shooting just 26% early wall attacking he kicks it to Tucker. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Tucker's got seven. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Here's Doncic. And the shot is long. Milton the pass to Maxi. And Philadelphia. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Broadcast. 
How's the second quarter getting going right now? And quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in. What do you think, guys? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. For the 76ers, the last game of win against the Heat. Yeah, facing that hostile crowd, uh, they just found a way to kind of tune out the noise and focus on the game. Well, the best way to silence the crowd is with your offensive game. Those fans got quiet in a hurry when the bucket started raining down. We've got Tim Hardaway Jr. Christian Wood is out there with Green. Then there's Dwight Powell, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point. So that's who Dallas starts the second one. Now Hardaway following the three-point attempt by John Wall. Hardaway passes to Powell, and the dunk by Powell. Now Powell, a terrific option in the pick and roll, knows to slash and finish. Embiid with the screen on Hardaway. High post, Embiid. From down in the low post, it goes. And Beach got his first points of the night. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Dinwiddie uses the glass to finish the way. And the Mavericks lead by 16. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Outside, green. A three ball. Rebound by the 76ers. And this is the first time they've matched up with the Mavericks this year. And, and you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going at it. And the fact that they split their two meetings last season. Does one try to get a leg up? Now here is Hardaway. After the miss from Joel Embiid. Hardaway takes to Dinwiddie. Three-pointer. Wall grabs the board. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the 76ers. They trail by 14. Embiid with a screen on Wood. Harden gets the bucket. Well, if it's James Harden taking the mid-range, I'm fine with it. This guy is a three-level scorer par excellence. Outside Hardaway. Launches a three. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got four assists in the game. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. And there are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. Now, here's Kleiber. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Now, here's Wall. Here's Harden. Plays it up off the glass. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Here now is Dinwiddie. This game had 12. He gets it in there. Hardaway has got five points now this quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. And in the last decade, defense's switching on screens has increased dramatically. Is this the new normal, you think? Kevin, I think so. I think teams that switch well tend to defend well. Because switching can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now with all the help defense. Free throw drops for Harden. The old phrase, he lives at the line. That is James Harden, folks. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Mavericks. Dorian Vinny-Smith comes in for Hardaway. Both good from the line that time. 
Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kid gloves, you're really not doing your job. The, the audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, players don't mind you criticizing their game. It's when those critiques become personal. The 76ers trail by 11. Al Harden, he's got 11. Kicks it to MB for three. The 76ers with another miss. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Dinwiddie passes to McGee. Back to Dinwiddie. There's the lob to the hoop. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Fable. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Mavericks leading by 11. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Wood against Embiid. The 10-footer. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Past the wall. Out to Harris. Green against Harden. Embiid in the corner. Another miss by Philadelphia. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Here's Green, 17 points in his last outing. Here's McGee, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you know what, very close to a three-point play right there. The Mavericks have been all four of their chances so far in this one. Taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That's good from McGee. And the Mavericks making a change here. Doncic has checked in. Jakob Pertl's check in for the 76ers. P.J. Tucker comes in for John Wall. No free throws. Good from McGee. The 76ers trail by 13. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Harden against Doncic. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Luka Doncic. Well, few guys understand better than James Harden how to use a pump fake to get a defender committed and get some free throws. That is nicely done. the first one drops he does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line something he didn't do in the first period Harden hits them both and getting to the line and hitting your free throws is a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and it extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in the line so far here in the second quarter. Now here's Green. No points in the game yet for him. And finished off by Wood. And there's a lot of power behind Woods' dunks. He's not going to get cheated when he takes it to the rim. Well, Christian Wood has shown himself capable of being a 20 and 10 guy. But now he's looking to show he can be a winner as well. Eibel with the ball. Guarded by Doncic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you hear about impacting winning. How does Wood, Greg, take the next step in that regard? 
well, Kevin, we know he can make shots and block shots. I think it's just about consistency and decision making. And, and then defensively, I think he's more than capable. Free throw, no good. An NBA All Defense for two years running. Matisse Thibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot in the NBA. Mavericks making a switch here. Bullets checked in. The 76ers also with a sub. Milton's checked in. And he's good on the second. And great, we know at Washington, Thibel was the college defensive player of the year, averaging three and a half steals and over two blocks a game. And, and per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season was the second best in the league. Now, here's Doncic. 12 points for him. Tries from 10. Rebounded by Tucker. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. With his first shot attempt, Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And here's a look at some numbers for Christian Wood. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Listen, 84 is a really good number to post at the foul line, and that's where he's at on the year. Throw good. Milton. Maxie's checked in for Matisse Thibel. All oh, free throws good for Milton. Dallas leading by 10. with it. He is still scoreless so far in this one. McGee is screen. Shoots from 14. And Pirtle pulls it down. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Milton kicks to Harden. Tucker is screen. Harden's shot is off. So for Dallas, their last game a win against Indiana to the inside, and it's McGee with the jam. Yeah, because Luka Doncic is such a threat to score it, it opens up the passing game, and boy, it is on display right now. Now, here's Maxi. Six points for him. Passes it to Harden. But three. That one doesn't go. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Yeah, they, they took advantage of some forest defense in that one. Really got the shots they wanted. Give them some credit. I'll tell you this. They caught an opponent on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. The 76ers trail by 12. Here's Maxi. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got nine rebounds now tonight. Here's Bullock. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Doncic. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got four rebounds in this game. Axie passes to Tucker. Chalk up two there. You know, we see this a lot from Tucker. He scores by overpowering the defender with his tremendous strength. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. down two points. Doncic has got 14 points for the game. They are just killing them on the interior. Outside, Maxi. Here's Tucker. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Dallas leading by 12. On the wing, Green. Defended by Milton. Green dishes to McGee. 
Johnson's with a screen on Maxi. Here's Bullock, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on James Hart. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. The Mavericks shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. And the Mavericks with some changes. Dwight Powell's checked in for JaVale McGee. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Josh Green. So Bullock nails both of them. The 76ers trail by 14. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Maxi. Powell pulls it in. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. The deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 14. Outside Hardaway. Five to shoot. And there's the pass to Finney Smith. He kicks it to Doncic. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And now, a look at the upcoming schedule for the 76ers. On Saturday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. Then on Monday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Indiana Pacers. Out to the right wing. Pass to Milton. Takes the three. And the 76ers get it back. Screen by Pirtle. Milton the pass to Pirtle. Powell with the steal. Doncic with it. And it's Harden picking him up. 11 feet away, and that one's good. Doncic. Doncic has got 16. Listen, this is becoming routine for Luka Doncic. This guy's a big-time scorer who can take over when he's ready. Hurdle sets the pick for Harden. From outside the arc. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Tucker dishes to Harden. Shot clock at six. At the top of the key, Maxi. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Eight points for him. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Gotta fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now, here's Doncic. 16 points for him. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Outside, Maxi has to Harden. There's 31 seconds left in the first half of the game. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Hardaway kicks to Finney Smith. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Harden against Doncic. And no good. Good work defensively by Harden. Well, at this point, James Harden has put his imprint all over this basketball game. The defense better find a way to figure him out soon. guys joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? The effort's fine, I guess. Uh, the 
defensively we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they're just scoring too easy. They're throwing us around. We are so much more than physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Dallas Mavericks. They move the ball, guys. Very unselfish. Keep everyone involved. Got to be willing to make that extra pass. Or you could just dump it in the shack, and the ball never comes out again. That's why they call me the shack hole. All right, and now time to give some recognition. Players of the month. The selection for the Western Conference, Luka Doncic. This isn't the first and it will not be the last one of these awards for Luka Doncic. A master at getting his own shot, as well as creating for others. Simply unstoppable on offense. Also a tremendous rebound in his position. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jock Rivers. Front court is Thibel and Harris. Harden out there with Maxi, and it's Embiid in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And he comes up with the deuce. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. McGee trying to break free and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bomb the shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. And that one misses. Yeah, Tim Hardaway Jr. to me is a terrific all-around player, right? He can score it. He can pass it. He'll rebound the position. There's a lot to like about his game. Good on the second free throw. The 76ers trail by 11. Maxi passes to Embiid. Tipped away. Manchester with the steal. Right side Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Shot clock at five. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Well, two things there, guys. To Hardaway Jr., the power, the concentration refuses to be stopped, but he wants to score. For Dallas, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a 14-point game. Harden outside. There's the try. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. The way James Harden varies his pace, it is really tough as a defensive player to get any kind of contest without drawing contact. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Harden. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Doncic against Harden. Outside, Green. Rejected by Hicks. And using his long arms there to his advantage. Opponents got to be mindful of Harris's defensive capabilities. Now, here is Harden. 19 points in the game. Here is a screen on Doncic. Camp it goes, and the Dallas lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Harden. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. You know, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Thibel. It's rebounded by Dallas. McGee's got 11 rebounds in the game. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 18. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Doncic has got 20. I'll tell you, Luka Doncic makes tough shots look easy. Boy, that close to the bucket through that much contact? Nice. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drop that happened a moment ago. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Maxi. Eight points for him. Harden outside. Teardrop shot. Count it good. And now 24 points for James Harden. This is one of the specialty shots in James's arsenal. This guy with the teardrop floater. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good night. Now here is Hardaway. He's got 20. The three for Doncic. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Bede's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Eibel with the ball. Working on Green. Here's Embiid. And good work on the board. They pick up the second chance points. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Smith and Dinwiddie subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. John Walls checked in for Philadelphia.
defense Philadelphia. They trail by nine points. Green finds Wood. And here is Doncic. 20 points for him. Just five to shoot. And the wide open shot from Green. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his sixth assist on the night. Ball passes to Maxi. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Rebound by the 76ers. Outside wall. Passes it to Thibel. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. Good D by Wood. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Outside, Green. No good on the triple. The 76ers trail by 12. There's the pass to Thibel. Back to Wall. Pass to Embiid. Drilled from 11 feet out. Embiid's got 10. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Dallas Mavericks. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Conjugs outside. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, the hoop and the heart. Look at Doncic, the finish, and he'll get an opportunity to add to that. In a moment now, to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Mavericks. Well, I've been impressed with the ball moving all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. They've also made a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight. That free throw good from Doncic. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. Maxi finds Thibel. Here's Embiid. That one good for two. Embiid's got eight points in the quarter. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. But what sets Embiid apart is he does it with such ease. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Powell with this green on wall. They grab their own miss. Powell, that's good. Powell's got his third basket of the night right there. Well, this is a big part of what Dwight Powell needs to do. Battle hard on the offensive glass. Turn those second chance opportunities into points. Here's Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket for Maxi. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense. But he can also freeze the defender or freeze confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run. 14 First trip to the line for him here. 76% on the season from the foul line. And he knocks down the first one. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Dallas. Then for the 76ers, Pirtle, he's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Shake Milton in for Maxi. And both free throws good for Green. The 76ers trail by 12. Now, Milton. Dinwiddie with the rebound. Dallas has gone 7 of 15 for three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. And Pirtles sends it back. Back 
active defense from Jakob Pertl. That's the key. When he stays active and alert, blocks are going to be there for him. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Altman. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And DA, we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD. Uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. We'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. And Harris drops them both. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. <laughs> wow, Tobias is nice. He's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. I'm sure he'll take the trade off. The 76ers trail by 10. Here's Milton. Pass to Harris. to Milton. Here's the three. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Milton's got it back down to within single digits for Philadelphia. Dinwiddie with it. To the paint. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Wall. And Wall with the slam. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. And it's Bullock missing. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Nope, kicks the Wall. Shoots the three. Another three for Philadelphia. Three points. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Now, here's Bullock, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. They kick it out to Green. Dallas moving the ball around. It's stolen by Harris. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. For the tie. Sweet move. It's good. This game is all even. Harris has got four points this quarter. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this cover. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. And the Mavericks call time here. Sixers making a switch here. Harden's checked in. Dallas has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Dinwiddie outside, trying to get something going. He 
can't get it to go. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Tucker inside. Pass to Harris. It's stolen by Green. Dinwiddie outside. Rocket six. And here's Green outside. They get a hand on it. And it's Wall with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. The pass to Harden. Back to Wall. Out left of the wing. For the lead. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Wall. Pirtle's got the lead up to two now for Philadelphia. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Now, here's Bullock. Dallas, no good that time either. Who finds Wall. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. Harden lets up from past the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, the defense has been lackluster out of the locker room, and that is why they are finding themselves in a tough spot. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Dallas calls timeout. Smith's checked in for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Reggie Bullock. One thirty-one left here in the third quarter. Hardaway, no good. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Harden missing his last shot. Powell inside. Defended by Pirtle. The shot by Powell, no good. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Wall passes to Harden. Puts up a three. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got five assists tonight. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Wood finds Dinwiddie. To end the run. It's rebounded by John Wall. Wall's got rebound number five here tonight. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Harden. Harden 
Martin draws the double. From deep, wall, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jakob Bertolotto. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now, let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says, we're not giving up this lead. Twelve seconds left in the third. Takes a three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. James Harden getting it done for the 76ers. He witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. Back right after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Average trail by eight at the guard positions. It's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. Good out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Finney Smith in at the small quarter. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. And it's in there. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now, here is Harden. Inside. McGee against Embiid. Outside, Maxi. Five on the clock. On the wing, Harden. With the fadeaway. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And it's Wood with the ball for the Mavericks. And here is Doncic, outside Hardaway. To the middle, here's Wood, and finish cross by Wood. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that ball? Now, here's Maxi. And Bede with a screen on Hardaway. Maxi into the lane. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead and they should count themselves to be lucky. Pass to Vinny Smith. Donjic's outside. Off target from outside. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out rebound. He passes to Perkin. Embiid against Wood. And the shot goes in from Embiid. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. Doncic against Harden. Now, here's Doncic. He's guarded close. Passes it to Finney Smith. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And here's Wood outside. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. The pass to Burton. There's Embiid. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Average trail by eight. Doncic dishes to Hardaway. of action now gone here in the fourth and here's Doncic from the arc it's hauled in by Feibel well two long range bombs in the first but that's stalled out right now 
Maxi again, Philadelphia. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Down low to end the cold streak. McGee's shot is off. The 76ers leading by 10. Freibel, the pass to Maxi. Misses from short range. Mavericks have gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Hardaway dishes to Doncic. Harden against McGee. To the paint, here's Wood. And finished off by Wood. Now, I bet even they didn't think the pick would work that way. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Here's Fibel. The Mavericks making the shot. Here's Embiid. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Harden against Doncic. Count that one. Jay Harden's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Here's Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway's got six assists in the game. Well, the ability to work around the defense and get himself free for a shot despite being in the paint. That is a beautiful play by Luka. Count that bucket. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Doncic passes to Wood. And it's Dallas with another. He's got a lot of skills inside. Woods ready for whatever the defense throws at him. Outside, Maxi. There's the feed to Harden. Shoots over Doncic. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Maxi. Maxi's got his third assist on the night. Average trail by 10. And the Mavericks call time here. You gotta like what Harden has done in this game so far. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. He told the players, you guys are too talented to be playing this lackadaisical. Push the ball up the floor, get out on the break, and get to the fast break. Guys, we'll see if they can get it done. Thank you, David. Don 
Dragic right side over Harden. Dallas no good that time either. And it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia. Maxi passes to Harden. Kicks it to Pirtle. Now Maxi. And B sets the pick for Maxi. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. And two shots coming up. Second one goes on Wood. First team. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the 76 Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from me. I think tonight has also, guys, been about the lost art of the mid-range jumper. If you utilize that in-between game right, there's plenty of value in it. And the first one at the line is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Harris has checked in for the 76ers. Maxi hits them both. Mavericks trail by 12. Now Hardaway. Donjic's outside over Harden. And it's good from Doncic on the assist from Hardaway. Doncic has got four this quarter. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Odin finds Feibel. Pass to Maxi. And the three off target. Dallas has gone over three so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Doncic's outside. Back to Hardaway. Doncic against Harden. Six on the shot clock. Pulls it up. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Doncic. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end. But right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Now here's Harden. Good on the bucket. Harden's got 38 points. It matters not where James Harden finds himself on the floor. He is a legit threat to put the ball in the basket. Hardaway kicks to Doncic. Loads it up for Wood. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Axie passes to Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. How about that finish by Harris? He sees his opening and does not hesitate to rise up and be free. Here's Hardaway. Green with the ball. Doncic outside. Fires the three. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Now, here's Maxi. Pass to Harden. No good there. Nice D from Doncic. Average trail by nine. Over in the corner, Green. He kicks to Hardaway. Back to Green. This one for three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Beats got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Green against Harden. That's the free fly, and the 76ers get it back. Embiid, the pass to Thibel. Back to Embiid, shoots over Doncic, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. The Mavericks have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. It down. Well, Luka Doncic, because he understands windows of opportunity, has the footwork, the change of pace, the drive is easy for the Don. Now, here's Maxi. Now he's hard. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Second team foul. Now at the line for the 76ers, James Hart. At the line for two. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The throw good, James Harden. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Powell. Harden hits them both. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Passes it to Wood. Let's it go with the three. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taking just ten shots. And that high skill level coupled with the 6'10 frame and Wood looking more and more polished as a catch and shooter. Now is Harden. The pass to Embiid. Maxi in the corner. Embiid trying to break loose. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. Maxi's got nine points in the quarter. Average trail by nine. Hodgich outside. There's the three. Here's Finney Smith. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Harris has got his fifth rebound in this one. Hot loose. It's stolen by Green. Pass to Finney Smith. Donchich with it. Guarded by Hart. The shot. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And here's Maxi. And it's Thibault in the corner. Pass to Harden. A three. Green with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Embiid comes for the double team. Here's Finney Smith, defended by Thibault. Six to shoot. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. It's good from the top of the key. When Tim Hardaway Jr. starts to cook, the confidence goes through the roof, and he's working right now. Maxie against Hardaway. Maxie kicks to Thibault. Harris outside. Embiid, the pass to Thibault. Left side, Maxi. Embiid in the corner. Three-pointer. That shot misses. And here are the Mavericks now. They trail by seven. Finney Smith. Off target from three-point range. Maxi looking it over. So the 76ers win it. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back-and-forth challenge? Just every single game trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. You know, I love playing a game of basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, it takes a lot, but I'm built for it and uh, I'm going to just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Hart.